Hello and welcome back to the end of another week around the garden because that's kind of the center of my life right now. Um, so as you can see, I, I, I got it all mulched. So it's looking really, really nice. I love it. Um, however, uh, we will be putting those other two raised beds over here, hopefully this week. Um, again, this week, the weather has been bizarre. We had two days of like intense heat and sunshine, which was wonderful. And then we went back to kind of this dismal, gray, rainy weather. Um, so it feels like summertime wants to come, but is just kind of struggling this year. <laughs> So, so yeah, the, the corn, the corn is still pretty small. Uh, the tomatoes here have gotten, gotten pretty decent. Um, I've been twisting them onto their things. Um, there's lots and lots of blooms. And some of these are even starting to, to make little green tomatoes. Um, so that's cool. My, my Susie, yeah, my Susie flowers are starting to come in. Um, so yeah, the, the weather is picking up and the plants are trying, but um, they're still struggling. Uh, this whole bed has stuff that was planted really late, so I'm not really expecting much from there. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this bed, as you can see, I did finally get around to harvesting the rest of the stuff. So I might throw in some photos um, of the, sh like I harvested the shallots and the beets and the carrots. Um, and I actually turned some of the carrots into, uh, into a fantastic carrot cake. So I'll throw a picture of that in too, if I find it. Um, up here we have like my, my soybeans and some other bean is growing. Um, the, this, this is one of my snap peas, which I thought they all died, um, cause they got eaten. Let's see? Things, things come and eat things, um, but apparently that one survived. Uh, but the rest of these are some other type of bean or pea or something. These are definitely um, soybeans. Edamame is here. Uh, the replacement rhubarb is looking pretty good. Uh, you'll see that my my bench. Uh, I was doing some some summer cleaning and found a mouse who had nested in there with babies. Um, so I might throw up a picture of her can that I, I also relocated and thankfully by the next day uh, she had she had moved the nest and vacated. I don't like to do things actively to the wildlife. Like I kind of want to live here with them and not against them. So, so I do try to give them the opportunity. Um, we got some rain this week, but not a lot. Uh, we have been having a lot of animal activity. So over here... The potatoes are doing great, with the exception of this one, and I might have some footage that I can throw in of what it looked like, because basically, like, everyone's looking great, and then this one was, like, completely decimated, um, and on it, I found a monster caterpillar. Oh my gosh, giant thing. Um, so again, I'll, I'll throw in some photos or video um, of that, if I can find them. Out here, I'm happy to say that the the chicken area has now completely been uh, weed blocked. So we're trying to do the weed suppression here before we get into that project, but that'll be that'll be later. Um, these were those like mystery squash that I planted. So one is doing really well, and from the looks of it, we have round zucchini but this one this one fell off its thing oh yeah slugs um but we have another one coming in uh so yeah so this one's round zucchini um that one that one looks like it's almost dead it's trying but and these other ones are a little bigger but i'm not sure if they're actually going to turn into anything um i mean july 1st is what tomorrow and things are things are still super slow um, growth wise out in the garden. So I'm trying to stay optimistic with being able to harvest things, but we'll see what happens. Um, we are getting some really pretty flowers, so that's kind of cool. Um, and speaking of wildlife,
Can you hear it? Um, so yeah, that is a fledgling swallow, or not, sparrow, fledgling house sparrow, um, which has been, which has been falling out of its nest onto the ground here and causing all kinds of, um, drama. So I keep putting it back in its nest and the parents keep coming. So I'm just, I'm hoping it makes it. Um, unfortunately, when I looked in the nest, uh, its sibling had died. So I took the dead sibling out before I put him back in there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, thankfully with limited sunshine and stuff, the grass isn't going crazy. Um, I'm hoping to get rid of that pile of, of cuttings though. Uh, blueberries are still struggling, but we'll see what happens. And really that's about it. The big plans for this week are I, I'm definitely wanting to get the two beds set up so while when there's not rain I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to do that and I showed you last week so I won't walk all the way over there but the wisteria on the other end of the property uh needs needs to be trimmed next week so that will that will definitely happen and I'll take before and after photos of that because I've been I've been watching it online and I'm planning on giving it a really good hack job because it it needs it. It hasn't been pruned in forever. Uh so that being said, I'll leave you with our not so sunny gloomy cornfield and I'll check back with you next week. Bye.